Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do a new problem as part of the 2015 Go Math workshop series and math series. This is going to be a problem in math for elementary school teachers. Uh, a nice problem. It's coming from the CBEST uh, practice test for teachers in California, but it's a really good problem if you're a teacher out there on the elementary school level that's preparing for your teacher certification exam. So I want you to first, I want you to take a look at number three here. Really cool problem. Take a moment to take in all the information. All right, so maybe you see the bridge, and maybe you see a ruler, and, and you see this big word units here. So this is something involving units and scale, right? Using inches as a form of uh, some, maybe inches, comparing inches to feet, maybe. And if you look at the answer choices, that can, they kind of lay it out that way too. Unit one is equal to 700 feet, so we have some sort of scale going on. Let's just think about this as maybe it could be one inch may, might be our unit. Or maybe it's one meter might be our unit. But anyways, we have a scale going on and we're converting it from one unit to another. Okay, now I'm going to read over the question. It says, if the actual length of the bridge is 4,200 feet, then what is the scale of the diagram of the bridge? Hmm, how do I even approach this? Well, I want you to... If you, if you haven't already, I want you to just write down this information using the picture. We know that the bridge itself is 4,200 feet. So that's this, this area from here oops, to here. Now, 4,200 feet is equal to how many units? Well, it's really easy to say six because you look at it really quickly. But how many units from this end to this end is it actually? So I got to very carefully be like, it's one, two, three, four, five units. So I know that five units here, five units is equal to 4,200 feet. Now, how much is one unit equal to? Well, this is where you got to do your division. You got to, and this is where most teachers make mistakes. When I divide by five, this area here reduces nicely to one unit. But this right here, it's it's really easy to make mistakes. So I, I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take 30 seconds, and I'm just gonna make sure I do it right. I'm gonna just do the work on the side on a scrap sheet of paper, on whatever note board they give you to take that when you're taking the test. You're gonna do those basic calculations very carefully. And I want you now to practice this before I even do it. Kindly do this on your own. Don't wait for me to do it. I want you to do it. This is that nuts and bolts type of math that you have to be comfortable doing. All right, so I'm here, I'm doing it now. Five doesn't go into four, but it goes into uh, 42 uh, eight times. So eight times five is 40. Subtract them, you get a two. Drop down one of the zeros is 20. Five goes into 24 times. Four, four times five is what? 20. This is a zero, product on zero, it doesn't go in, goes in zero times. Got it. One unit is equal to 840 feet. The answer is C. There's a lot of math here, and you have to study the math and study the structure of the question so that when you see a harder question, you'll be able to answer it with ease. Okay? All right, team, the answer is C. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you like this video. Stay tuned for more and check out one of the upcoming math workshops. All right, take care. Bye-bye.